Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about indeterminacy, a fundamental property of electrons that is not present in the everyday objects with which we interact every day. Everyday objects, like this cell phone, obey Newton's laws of motion. And even if you've never studied Newton's laws before, you're probably familiar with them on some level. They basically just say that an object is going to follow a trajectory or path that is determined by the object's position, its velocity, and the forces that act on it. For instance, if you fire a cannonball at your worst enemy, you can visually predict where that cannonball will end up by observing its trajectory. What you're really doing is you're noticing the cannonball's initial position and velocity, and of course taking into account that gravity will ultimately pull the cannonball downward. Objects that obey Newton's laws of motion are said to behave in a deterministic fashion, which means that the present conditions determine the future. If we fired a second cannonball with the same initial position and velocity as the first one, then it would land in the exact same spot. Electrons play by a different set of rules. At any given time, we can only know either an electron's position or its velocity, not both. So it's impossible to know an electron's trajectory and therefore impossible to determine where it will end up. This means that two electrons shot from the same position with the same initial velocity will most likely end up in different places. And that's indeterminacy in a nutshell. Let's pretend for a moment that the cannonball behaves like an electron. Although we can't figure out the trajectory of a single cannonball, we can fire the cannonball with the same initial position and velocity several times and then describe its trajectory in a statistical manner. This type of treatment is called a probability distribution map. It's basically just a region of space showing where the cannonball is likely to be found. Some positions are more likely than others, and some positions are extremely unlikely, like, for instance, the moon, although there is a very, very small probability of it actually being there. In the videos that follow, we'll be describing the positions of electrons using orbitals, which are basically just three-dimensional regions of space where electrons are likely to be found within atoms. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.